Hey guys, and welcome back to another Foodie Friday. For this week's recipe, I'm gonna show you guys how I make cabbage rolled chicken enchiladas. This is one of my husband's favorites that I've been making for a few years, and he doesn't like cabbage, but he loves these cabbage roll enchiladas, if that tells you anything. So this is going to be a lower carb option if you don't want to use tortillas. We don't follow any sort of paleo or keto diet. This is just a healthier alternative that I like to swap instead of using tortillas. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the ingredients on the screen for you guys, so feel free to pause this video and write these ingredients down if you want. Start by heating one to two tablespoons of olive oil or whatever cooking oil you have in a deep skillet and then adding your diced chicken and cooking until no longer pink, so about seven minutes. And you can also use any protein that you want. So if you like ground beef, you can use ground beef or ground turkey. I prefer chicken, diced chicken enchiladas, but that's just an option if you prefer an, another protein. While you're waiting for your chicken to cook, take a carving knife or a long knife and insert the knife into the head of cabbage going around the core. You want to go pretty deep, but not all the way through to the top of the cabbage. And so here I'm just kind of making almost like a pentagon shape, kind of like the same way you would carve a pumpkin and take off the top, but I'm actually not pulling the core out right now. It's just going to be easier to detach the leaves. Next, carefully lower the cabbage head into a stock pot of boiling water and leave it to roll around and sit in that water for about five minutes while you continue cooking your meat mixture. When the chicken is done cooking, remove the chicken from the pan, place them on a plate, and then add the diced onions to cook for about two minutes until they are translucent. After about two minutes, add the drained and rinsed black beans to the onions and then mix them around. And then if you guys saw my previous two videos, I love taco seasoning. It has honestly so many different flavors in it. And I just like using it instead of using a bunch of different seasonings. And I don't measure my seasonings. I just kind of eyeball it and sprinkle it in there. And it, I use it like salt and pepper. I do it to taste. So I add a few shakes of taco seasoning in there, mix it around, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken back into the pan and then mix that around add a little bit more taco seasoning. And I did it this way because I wanted to make sure the beans and onions had flavor instead of the chicken absorbing all of the seasoning. Um, I like to do it that way. So I go ahead and add more taco seasoning, mix it all together. And then I take one of the cans of enchilada sauce and I pour that over the meat mixture. And I use about three quarters of the can and you don't want it to be soupy, you just want enough to kind of coat all of the meat and beans and onions, but you don't want it to be watery. So I go ahead and mix that all together and let it simmer for about five minutes while I work on my cabbage leaves. After about five minutes of the cabbage head sitting in the boiling water, I start to take my tongs and peel back and off those leaves individually. And then you can see they easily detach from the head, from the cuts that I made. And then I just kind of stick them on the side of the cabbage head for about a minute so they can cook for about another minute. And you want them to be pliable and easy to roll, but not overly cooked to where they're mushy. So once they have been sitting for about a minute on the side of the cabbage head, I go ahead and remove them from the water and place them on a paper towel to dry. And I just repeat this process until I get down to the very center of the cabbage. Next, set your oven to 350 degrees. Take the remainder of the enchilada sauce from the meat mixture and pour that in a 9x13 baking dish and coat the bottom. 
I like to have a rolling station set up for when I assemble these. So I have my cabbage leaves on the left, my mi mixture on the top, a plate to roll on my cheese, and then my casserole dish on the right. To start assembling, I just take a cabbage leaf and it's really important to have the rib going towards the inside. It's a lot easier to roll and it won't snap. And then I just take my meat mixture and place some on the bottom and then sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. And then I fold the sides in and begin rolling upwards. Then I place the cabbage roll seam side down in the casserole dish. I just repeat these steps until the casserole dish is filled and all of my meat mixture is gone. Next, I take and open the other can of enchilada sauce and pour about half of it over the top of the cabbage rolls. And I don't waste any of the enchilada sauce. I actually put it in a container and use it for breakfast the next morning with eggs. Next, I sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top and then bake it at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes until the cheese has melted. And that's it, you guys. After you pull it out of the oven, let it set for about 10 minutes and rest before you serve. And I like to serve mine with toppings. My husband likes jalapenos and taco sauce, and I like pretty much everything. So sour cream, guacamole, and salsa and jalapenos on mine. I like all of the toppings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys still want me to continue doing these Foodie Friday recipes. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you would consider doing so. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And until my next video, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.